Hi all, so I want to show you how you can actually hide some content for your users based on some of their metadata. So we are going to create a shortcode that will uh, be um, enough versatile so you can actually use any user metadata that you want. And let's begin. So here is a user content and this is a particularly useful example because I'm actually using this myself not that short code but the flow is the same so basically I have a content and then I have a premium content and this we want this to be a short code that will actually hide this one for some of the users that shouldn't view those and let's begin now so I will create a file in the must use plugin so it is always loaded you can actually make this a plugin or you can put it in a team uh, you decide on your own okay so to, sh to register the shortcode we will use the add action in it and type our own function be sure to prefix it correctly i will now for the purpose of this uh, tutorial I will just say register register hide content shortcode then I'll use this function and I'll type add shortcode we will use this same hide content if and then a function and I will just call it like that. Be sure to name it much better when you're doing it. This function will accept some attributes that we can pass down. And this will be our function. Alongside the attribute, this content will pass the content. And this content is actually this one. So if I just now return nothing, let's try and refresh it. Yeah, nothing will be there. If I return content, the content will be here. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, first we want to have the sure, sure could ads. Uh, so this is a list of the defaults so basically sorry about that so this will contain the defaults and this will be those that are passed here so first we want the value this is that the one thing that we uh, want to compare it with and the field or let's call it meta key meta that's enough this will be the meta from the user meta then how are we going to compare it for now the default will be equal and let's just put it like that there for now okay so we first need the meta right and if we are hiding the content if there is no meta or something, we'll just return the content content as it is. So if not if not add meta return content. Correct? So basically let's see, yeah. It returns the content. Now that we have this and this, let's get like that user uh, data, then get user meta. Of course, the user has to be logged in. So if we want to hide the content for particular users with the meta, you we should also decide if we are going to show the content if the user is not logged in. So 
let's say that we don't want the content if the user is not logged in if not is a user logged in return an empty string so now if I as since I'm logged in here I'll see see that one but let me just try the incognito oh so we still see it and that shouldn't be there okay so what's happening here this is an error sorry about that so this do i have a logic here that isn't correct So when, when you don't know, you just have to use something like this. And what, whoa, what's happening? And now let's see. So nothing is happening here. Let's see what's happening here. So hide content if, and that's correct but what's happening is that this is returning early because there is no method here so if i put this here and if i go to incognito browser i won't see it now and that's fine okay so let's continue if there is no meta we will just return the content and then uh, let's now get the uh, user id get current uh, let's see how it is get current user id like that and now we will see the user value which is get user meta by user id meta And since this is passed through uh, a anyone can use that let's just sanitize it before we are trying to work with the database and true let's assume this is a single meta field and now uh, we want to compare it so we go to switch compare and let's say that if case this this won't work this will work uh, if it's case not then we will and let's say this have a flag hide content is false okay so we will sh we will won't show the content only if the user is not logged in but for now the height content will be set to false for every logged in user and basically we want to check this like this height content if value so the this value is not the user value that we have then hide the content and let's put it by default if is then hide the content okay and then if hide content just return an empty string so let's try this out i have in my php admin if i go to on the metadata for my user and if i let's say the wp user level which is 10 for admin and if i put here if meta is user level value is 10 and compare is not then we should hide it let's see what i have done now here okay it works because 
I'm the user at level 10 but if I put level let's say 11 doesn't matter which one it is you can see that the content is hidden now and this is a pretty simple shortcut which you can use to hide or show the content based on some of the data that you're storing maybe you're storing a membership level of your site or something else which you don't want to show or don't want to hide to a user and that's pretty much it it's a pretty simple shortcut definitely you should have some more checks here and i've actually written a content an article which is uh, named how to hide or show content by user meta where we have much more uh, available compare functions uh, operators and you can use functions to format the data uh, so you can easily have a different type of of data compared with that and yeah that's and you can see that toggling the content here you can actually have it shown like this where i'm hiding it if the user is not a member and that's pretty much it i hope you liked my new tutorial bye